In this video, I'll show you how to quickly find the vertex of a quadratic equation that is in standard form. By knowing this trick, you won't need to convert the standard form equation into vertex form. This will bypass that. What you'll need to be successful here is knowledge of this formula, where you have h is equal to negative b over 2a, and where h represents the x-coordinate of the vertex, b represents the coefficient of the b term for the standard form, and a represents the coefficient for the a term in standard form. So our first question reads, find the vertex of this equation. We have to identify our a and b term. Our a term here is equal to 1. It's this right here. Our b term here is equal to negative 3. And it's this coefficient right here. All we have to do now is plug in these values into this formula, where we end up with h is equal to negative and this negative is coming from the formula. And I'm going to place it at the top with the denominator along with b, which represents negative 3, over 2 times 1. Negative negative 3 is simply 3, and 2 times 1 is 2. And this is equal to exactly 1.5. So that right there, 1.5, represents the x-coordinate of the vertex. Now remember, vertex is a point. It needs a y-coordinate. So to get our y-coordinate, we're going to substitute this number into our formula, where we have y is equal to 1.5 to the power of 2 minus 3 times 1.5 plus 22. Using our calculator now, 1.5 to the power of 2 minus 3 times 1.5 plus 22 gives us exactly 19.75, 19.75. So therefore, our vertex will be at 1.5 and 19.75. Let's move on to question two. Now that we know our technique, we can do this faster. But unfortunately, unlike question one, this equation is not in standard form. You need to manipulate it so that it becomes in standard form first. And the way you do that is you bring this eight to the other side where you end up with 0 is equal to negative x plus 5x squared plus 8. Change the position of both of these so that the a and b are easy to identify. And now we know our a and we know our b. Our a is 5 and our b is negative 1. We plug in these values into our formula, the one shown here, where we have h is equal to negative times negative 1 over 2 times 5. And this gives us 1 over 10. So our x coordinate for the vertex now is 1 over 10. We will then plug this number back into our equation. You can plug it into any of these different versions. It doesn't matter. So we have 5 times 1 over 10 to the power of 2 minus 1 over 10 plus 8. And we end up with 7.95, 7.95. So therefore, our vertex is at 1 over 10 and 7.95 for the y-coordinate. And there you have it. That is how to quickly find the vertex of any quadratic equation that is in standard form.